What's up, YouTube, man? Wow, like, man, it's been it's been an interesting couple of days, man. I'm going to fill y'all in because I know y'all, some of y'all been waiting to hear what's going on. Uh, it's crazy, man. I have been going through some shit the past week and a half. So, but of course, I'm not going to fill y'all in on everything. I'm going to fill you all in on the shit I got going on with the truck. Brand new International LT. Okay. We had a little situation the other day where I ran over something. Some big, act, some big ass iron metal thing or something. Uh, how the situation went, uh, you know, I'm just cruising up the road, coming up uh, through Alabama on 65 North. Uh, just driving or whatever. I had a car in front of me uh, that was going slow. I jumped in the hammer lane, started going, got back over. I had this kind of like a little red truck, kind of flew past me. Once I got back over in the right lane. And, you know, if another car was coming up, they were kind of moving slow. So I jumped, it was like a little grayish black car, like a little monster. So I jumped back in the hammer lane. I started, you know, I'm rolling. And the guy beside me, he was like rolling pretty good. And I jumped on in there. But uh, he jumped up about three, four car lengths, three or four car lengths in front of me. Something blew off the truck. So, you know, my first instinct was to like, you know, find a way out. There was no way out because this car was still on my back end. Uh, so I had to run over it, you know. And in my mind, when I seen it fall, you know, because I'm waiting to kind of go, you know, so I can get ready to get back over in the right lane, which, you know, they just kind of be me. You know, I'm truck I really drive it slow as hell, you know. Uh, and by the time I realized, you know, I, I thought it was something maybe lightweight that if I run over it, you know, it's going to run on the truck, let it be that, you know, like plywood or some shit. But it was like, you know, I know it was gray, silver. So, you know what I'm saying? It didn't shine. But in my mind, I'm thinking it, it more of some of that heavy insulation, you know, some of the insulation that go up in the in the ceiling, the industrial buildings, that uh, pipe wrap, some shit like that. That's what, kind of what I thought it was. You know, from the first time I seen it fly the truck, but I noticed that it didn't flop up with the wind because that guy was going pretty good. You know, he was going pretty fast. Uh, and when I hit it, it just made this loud ass roar. No, I mean a loud ass roar noise. So I'm like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? So I hurry up, jump back in the right lane, slow down, cut the flashes on, jump out. I tried to bag back to see if it would come away from none of the truck. Cause I bagged back a little bit. I jumped out the truck. But on my way out the truck, even with the truck running, even with the traffic, I'm hearing something running like water, like something pouring out of something. So, you know, it, it messed me up like quick. Like, it messed me up fast. I jumped back in the truck. I didn't even get to the front of the truck when I heard this. I jumped back in the truck. I cut the truck off. You know, and I hear it pouring like good. You know what I'm saying? So I hurry up. Tried to look down upon the truck, but I couldn't on the on the driver's side because traffic coming. So I had to jump in front of the truck. I looked down the truck. I see this big ass iron piece, like a big ass. I you know, cause when I was driving, I didn't know that it was high in the air. Like I didn't know. I just thought that if I ran over, because I didn't have nowhere to go. I didn't have time to even slam on the brake. Like that's just how fast it happened. Uh, I thought that if I ran over, you know. It was going to kind of go up under, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know like it was up in the air enough, but, you know, you know, when I heated, I realized it was stuck wherever it was. So, you know, now I'm thinking in my mind, I could have been damning some shit, you know what I'm saying? Like quick. So that's why I hurry up and jumped over. And even on my way going to the right lane, I see some fluid, you know what I'm saying? Like seeing like something. I don't know if it was fluid. I just seen this track mark pretty much. It followed me. So. Like I said, I jumped back in the truck and cut the truck off when I heard the fluid. I jumped in the front, look, big ass hand thing. Fucking fluid pouring out of this motherfucker. So I'm looking real fast, trying to see, you know, what's leaking. You know, if it's leaking anywhere else, it's like, it's on the driver's side, like right behind the seat up under the truck. 
it was a uh, red, you know, red fluid. So, you know, in my mind, it's cooling. So I'm like, damn, what the fuck else could be leaking? You know what I'm saying? I'm looking, I'm looking, like jump. I came between the trailer and the truck. I'm looking all on there. And I was a little closer, but it's still far away. I couldn't get up under that truck from where it was. Plus that fluid in my mind is hot as a motherfucker because I see it smoke. So I'm like, I'm not getting my ass in the fluid. There's no way in the hell that it would make sense. You know, and being in the spot where I was on the shoulder, it was real fucking dangerous because, you know, them guys weren't trying to get over. They standing in the right lane like they running. I'm already right up on the highway. So, like, you know, that shit was dangerous as hell. So I heard them, you know, jumped out, jumped on the phone with dispatch, let them know we got a problem and whatever. So, you know, I took a picture when I got a chance. And they said it was uh, it was cooling pretty much because I popped the hood and I see all the, you know, the cooling was gone. So he said something about it, some kind of cooling reservoir and the lines or something that I broke. Uh, and I'm going to try, I guess I try to put the picture in here now and the metal thing in here now. So that's what happened. Uh, and like I said, it was just crazy. Like, shit kind of happened so fast because, like I said, once I, once that guy passed me, once they got past me, I jumped in that lane. Like, literally, he, I mean, he, that distance went so fast. But whatever flew off his truck flew off far enough back to the point when I actually was, like, right on it. Slamming on the brake wasn't going to be an option at all. Like, I didn't even have time to take my foot to get on the brake. That's just how close that shit was. Like, it's, it was a distance. But me traveling 6 to 8 miles hour, and he may be traveling 75, 76 and that shit fly off, you know, there's no way in the hell I could have stopped. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no way in the hell I could have stopped. You know, I don't give a damn how I could have tried to do it, you know. I mean, I made the best possible decision is to not run over with the tires. Try to stay center of wherever it was and go from there. That's just, you know, that's just the best I could do. You know what I'm saying? So, because I knew if I would have blew a tire, I could have ended up in the media. Or swerving going the other way, running over somebody, killing somebody. Man, that shit would have been showing up bad, but no physical damage to the truck, as you can see here. No physical truck whatsoever, physical damage whatsoever to the front. So I'm so glad. Got like the little rubber part that's up under there that came off. If y'all seen it, and like a couple less scratches on the bottom, but you know, overall, just looking at it, you wouldn't even be able to tell none of that at all. So like, I'm glad as fuck. You know what I'm saying? And I was on my way to Pittsburgh, so, you know, shit. I've been stuck in this hotel since yesterday. Uh, and they, they actually, I guess whatever it is that they got to do or order, they're going to order it tomorrow or whatever because they got to bring my, my old truck back up here, my uh, bring back 121. So they told me to be up at International at 7 in the morning. They'll bring my truck back. So uh, we'll do that. But, you know, we'll get the load delivered, and we should be in Pittsburgh Friday, so we can deliver that load, so that's what we're going to do. But, you know, of course, you know, in my mind, I'm like, man, I ain't been in the truck 24 fucking hours. Like, man, I'm trying to give y'all, I got to give y'all a review of the truck overall from what I see it is. But, like, for me being like, you know, and I was kind of excited. I actually had, like, did in this situation where I recorded and I'm still going to end up doing it so you know y'all forgive me I'm just going to end up doing it anyways and I'm going to show y'all what I mean about it but uh overall it uh it was a shocking thing man you know for, I, I've been in the truck less than 24 hours of this shit happened you know what I'm saying like I done, I done been in a situation where shit was in the road you know you got time to get out the way and all this shit so you know don't and mind you, I'm not on no phone, none of that shit. I'm just driving, you know what I'm saying? Just normal, like, because I see traffic, so I'm like, I'm trying to kind of get it. I got my radio on, you know, I'm jamming. You know, I, I get old, I was in the hammer lane, like I say, after passing that little gray or black car, little monster, whatever. Okay, we're right here where it's flowing, flowing out. Uh, this shit is hot as hell. Uh, it pulled all of it out, so, like, I was really just in a shop at this point so this is the iron piece that flew out the guy truck 
more like a toolbox, a, a scrap toolbox. I don't know what it is, but I know it was hard. So that's what happened. Um, and like I said, it was just crazy. Like shit kind of happened so fast. Cause like I said, once I, once that guy passed me, once that guy passed me, I jumped in the line. Like literally, he. I mean, he. That distance went so fast. But whatever flew off his truck flew off far enough back to the point when I actually was like right on it, slamming on the brake wasn't going to be an option at all. Like I didn't even have time to take my foot to get on the brake. That's just how close that shit was. Like it's, it was a distance. But me traveling 6 to 8 miles hour, and he may be traveling 75, 76, and that shit fly off. You know, there's no way in the hell I could have stopped. You know what I'm saying? Like there's no way in the hell I could have stopped, you know. I don't give a damn how I could have tried to do it, you know. I mean, I made the best possible decision is to not run over with the tires. Try to stay center of whatever it was and go from there. That's just, you know, that's just the best I could do. You know what I'm saying? So, because I knew if I would have blew a tire, I could have ended up in the media. Or swerving going the other way, running over somebody, killing somebody. Man, that shit would have been showing sure up bad. But no physical damage to the truck, as you can see here. No physical truck whatsoever, physical damage whatsoever to the front. So I'm so glad. Got like the little rubber part that's up under there that came off if y'all seen it. And like a couple less scratches on the bottom. But, you know, overall, just looking at it, you wouldn't even be able to tell none of that at all. So like I'm glad as fuck. You know what I'm saying? And I was on my way to Pittsburgh. So, you know, shit. I've been stuck in this hotel since yesterday. Uh, and they, they actually, I guess whatever it is that they got to do or order, they're going to order it tomorrow or whatever because they got to bring my, my old truck back up here, my uh, bring back 121. So they told me to be up at International at 7 in the morning. They'll bring my truck back. So uh, we'll do that. But, you know, we'll get the load delivered. And we should be in Pittsburgh Friday, so we can deliver that load, so that's what we're going to do. But, you know, of course, you know, in my mind, I'm like, man, I ain't been in the truck 24 fucking hours. Like, man, I'm trying to give y'all, I got to give y'all a review of the truck overall from what I see it is. But, like, for me being like, you know, and I was kind of excited. I actually had, like, did in this situation where I recorded, and I'm still going to end up doing it, so, you know. Y'all forgive me. I'm just going to end up doing it anyways. And I'm going to show y'all what I mean about it. But uh, overall, it, uh, it was a shocking thing, man. You know, for, I, I've been in the truck less than 24 hours with this shit happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, I done, I done been in a situation where shit was in the road. You know, you got time to get out the way and all this shit. So, you know, don't and mind you. I'm not on no phone. None of that shit. I'm just driving. You know what I'm saying? Just normal. Like, because I see traffic, so I'm like, I'm trying to kind of get it. I got my radio on. You know, I'm jamming. You know, I, I get old. I was in the hammer lane, like I say, after passing that little gray black car, little monster, whatever. And she just went left. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just went left. So, y'all hold on for a minute. Hold tight for me. One minute. Can't deliver it till need to be there by 10 o'clock uh, Friday so I can get unloaded. I'm going to be a work unit, so they can kind of go sideways too, but man, the overall like, the overall situation of this truck is like it's crazy. I guess, man, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in the video like I said. Like, the video that I got coming to y'all for that, I'd just rather do that. Because I think it'll be more beneficial for me to do it like that, the way I got to sit up. So I'm going to do that. I wanted to record my audio, you know, just talking while I was doing the video. But it was so damn loud in the truck. Like, it was picking up too much air, too much ruin, all this shit. So I'm like, nah, I'm not going to do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to wait. So y'all just be on the lookout for that, man. I'm, I'm going to drop that video uh, sometime by this weekend at the most. You know, however it go with me. man. Like I say, man, you know, thank God, man, I had no accident. I didn't hit nobody, none of this. So, you know, and it, you know, it's messing with me. I, I don't like it. You know, I don't like 
you know, some shit like that to happen to somebody else's property, man, because, I mean, my thing, that's a smack brain new ass truck. I'm not just overlooking that shit by no means. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really kind of feel some type of way this shit happened. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm one of them type of people. I like to take care of shit. It ain't got to be mine. I'm going to take care of it. That's just what I do. So for that to happen, it was unfortunate that it happened the way it happened. There's nothing I could have did about it, but, you know, and I'm, I feel like, being honest, I made the right decision by trying to run over it versus running over with a tie. You know what I'm saying? Or trying to slam on the brake and swerve and all that shit because that shit could have went way bad. You know what I'm saying? So... I feel like I made the right decision, but it's just the fact of, you know, me being in that truck less than 24 hours, and that shit happens, you know, shit fucks with me, man, like, it really does fuck with me, because, of, like, you know, I just don't want to fuck up nobody's shit, I don't care who shit it is, I like to take care of people's stuff, and I'm one of them kind of people, I never tear people's stuff up intentionally or carelessly. You know, if if something, ha if something happens, it's beyond my control. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just what it's going to be. But you know what I'm saying? At the same time, you know, I can't, I cannot, you know, kind of just throw that thought away. You know what I'm saying? Or that feeling away because it's there. You know what I'm saying? Still today, like, I still feel some type of way about it. I'm going to feel some type of way about it for a while because it's like, damn, you know, I didn't, I didn't call this damage to these folks truck and then they got to pay for it, which... Man, I'm telling you, like, my company so cool, man. Man, I think, I think, you know what I'm saying, the owner, I think the, the you know, co-owner, you know what I'm saying, I think the dispatcher, like, man, they were just patient with me. They told me to worry about it. You know, I was talking to, you know, the the owner, man, he just was like, man, Luke, don't worry about it. You know, it's beyond your control. They just focus on getting it fixed. Make sure you straight, you know what I'm saying. He was like, man, long as you straight, we fine. You know what I'm saying, and it's just like, you, it's hard to get that type of relief, you know what I'm saying, when you kind of tensed up so bad sometimes, man. So, like, you know, man, I, I'm glad as hell, like, I'm glad as hell for that shit, man. But at the same time, like, no matter how they tell me to calm down, I'm one of them kind of people, like, certain shit I just can't calm down on. Like, I just can't. So, you know, shit happened, man. It's just what it is, but I got to kind of just, you know, do what I got to do in the process. Of course, you know. They making that money, you know, they spending this money out of whatever. So, you know, I'm going to be very understanding to the point of saying, hey, look, what can we do to help make that money back? You know what I'm saying? Like, because I don't want to be like, okay, well, you know, people say, man, I ain't got to pay for it. You know, it ain't my fault and all of those shit. The shit had me, had me, what happened. You know, I'm not paying my pocket, but I may not be paying on my pocket, but I'm more than willing to help them make this money back because, like, that's a loss. No matter how nobody look at it, that's a fucking loss. When a company trying to take care of a business, you know what I'm saying? You you got to be able to make that money back somewhere. You know what I'm saying? And my thing is, I'm I'm more than willing to do what I need to do to help. You know what I'm saying? Like, no bullshit. I'm not, you know, even if I had to goddamn take a little short or something. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm just being 100. Like, I, if I had to take a short behind this shit, it is what it is. I'm not, you know, against that at all because at the end of the day, like, all this shit I'm doing is training me for when I go get my truck. You know what I'm saying? Like, just the shit that happened. Shit happened, man. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it is what it is. Because even when they put me in this room, I could have went and got a, you know, kind of a high-end room and all that old shit. But I was like, nah, I ain't going to do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? These folks are already finna spend their money on their truck. So, like, I need to be more than considerate on day end. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I had called a couple of hotels out here, man. They running like three hundred some dollars for two nights and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, nah. So, I, this one ain't, you know, it ain't the best, but it ain't bad at all. Paid a hundred and eight dollars an hour for two nights. So the lady helped me out. You know what I'm saying? And I appreciate you, Miss Lashana. You know what I'm saying? You did me pretty good, man. I, I'm uh, and I ain't gonna, you know, I ain't gonna put the name of the hotel out here. You know, that's beyond the point right now. Uh. And I'm in uh, Madison, Alabama, so let's just say that. But I uh, appreciate LaShonda for helping me. She's actually from Mississippi, Tupelo. And, uh, you know, I go a lot of places and I meet a lot of people from Mississippi. So that's, that's always a plus, you know what I'm saying? And, and that helps out a lot when, you know what I'm saying, you kind of got uh, a neighbor somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So it works out a whole lot, man. I appreciate her for helping me out as much as she could. Uh, and I appreciate my company for being patient with me, you know, through this 
trying time, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to make this shit right, you know, so we can kind of move forward with business and, we, you know, we can keep it cool, like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't with it, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad it didn't end up being an accident because it could have easily ended up being an accident. And, you know, preventable, non-preventable, whatever, you know, that shit go on your report. So I try to keep my shit clean. Like, I got enough shit going on as is. Y'all have no idea about that. Like, I'm fighting some shit right now, man. Like, real, real, but, you know what I'm saying? It's all cool. I ain't even tripping, man, so. That's where we at, man, so. I got to get ready to get off here, man. I got to go get me something to eat, so. Like I say, that that's pretty much what happened, man. Uh, just got to go through the motions with it, man, and keep it moving, man, like. You know, I got to get the load delivered, so I'm going to deliver the load. Then I'm going to turn around and, you know, grab something coming back through, give me some miles. And I'm going to keep doing all that until next weekend because I got something nice that I got to share with y'all next weekend. And I think, you know, I'm just going to say, man, God's good. Let's just say that, man. Like, God is motherfucking good. I'm not, I'm not even lying. Like, God is good, man. Like, y'all have no idea sometimes, man, how you look out for us out here, man. And we don't even acknowledge it. Like, we just, oh, man, God, you know, we just blow this shit out the rug, you know, up on the rug. Like, man, God is merciful. And I say he merciful, man. He merciful. He's graceful, man. Like, he love us and he just does things for us, man, that... When there's no way out, he makes a way. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's no way out of it. It's like, it's it's set in stone. And, you know, he makes a way. And you be at that last second, you be on either spaz out, give up. You don't know what to do. You're confused. You know what I'm saying? But I learned to start giving my problem to him. You know what I'm saying? Like, as much as I can. I still worry about it sometimes. But, you know, it's a lot of time I say, man, look, I'm, I'm just going to God. I'm going to give it to you. You know, it's out of my hand, ain't nothing I can do. And which I did this time around, you know, trying not to really worry about it. So, and, uh, man, I'm to my life. I got a phone call a little while ago and it was just like, you know. So, yeah, man, I ain't gonna hold y'all on here too long. This is all what happens. So, 24 hours after I got the truck, I hit something and I tow that son of a gun up. I hate it. I truly hate it. But, you know, with every uh, loss, you know, you can make a gain. You know, every le everything happening is a lesson learned, you know what I'm saying? So, and I'm looking at this situation to trying to see if, you know, I could have made a better decision or did something different, which the only thing I can say about that is I had said I was going to get something to eat at the Lewis on 65 at 299. Now, nah, 2, what's the answer to this? Is it $2.99? I think I ain't sure. But I was gonna I was gonna stop and give me something to eat, but I was like, man, I don't want no damn McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no hot dog and shit, man. I just gotta wait, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I did. And I think that if I would have stopped, maybe things would have been different. You know what I'm saying? So maybe things would have been different, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, so. But, you know, we just got to go through it, man, get through it and keep moving. You know what I'm saying? We can't focus on, you know, what it could have been. We just got to focus on what happened and keep it moving. That's just what we got to do. You know what I'm saying? And, and, you know, I'm a team player, so like I tell you, like, at all times, if I'm rocking with you, I'm rocking with you. Ain't no if or ends or buts about it. Ain't no guess about it. I'm rocking with you. That's just all I can tell you. You know what I'm saying? Because that, that goes so deep. That if I start speaking too much, you know what I'm saying, people could take advantage of that in a heartbeat. So, like, I'm not going to do it. You know, I'm not built like these other lame people, and I'm not like these other complaining people, and I'm not like these people that want to cry and bitch, and, you know, I'll, I'm not like that. When I say I got you, man, I got you. I ain't no ill fans or what's about it. I'm not going around. I'm not going to shortchange you. When I say I'm in, when I say I'm a thousand percent, when I'm in, I'm a thousand percent in. I mean, I'm, I'm going ahead first before you do. It's just what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? So for these folks to help me, like, I'm all in. And plus, 
You know, they, I mean, even with the shit that happened, they still doing some shit for me. Like, that's what I, like, this shit incredible. Like, man, that's why I say I fuck with these folks. Like, I fuck with my company. I, I, I rock with my company a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really do like, so. And the more, the older I got, the more I started getting committed to kind of what I have going on. So, you know, it is what it is, man. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, they don't do lease purchase. I can't bring my own truck there if I want to. You know, down the line, I'd be trying to do something later on, but right, right now, not right now, because I mean, I still got a long ways to go before I get to that point for some stuff. So, but you know, unfortunately, they don't. But if they did, that would make me stay forever. Like, I'm not even joking. Like. <laughs> I even talked to them about a flatbed, you know what I'm saying? Like, they just said, we'll see what we can do, but they kind of gave up on flatbed. I think he said a couple of years ago they used to do it, but, you know what I'm saying, they stopped doing it because the drivers didn't really want to do it. You know, a bunch of lazy-ass people don't want to work, don't want to do shit. But like I explained to him, like, I would like to do flatbed because it'll get me in and out the truck. I can get active and I can, instead of me sitting down all day, you know what I'm saying, I, I can move around, I can jump back and forth, you know what I'm saying? So... It's beneficial for me. It's healthier for me to be able to get up and move and flex my, you know, muscles, joints, and stuff, and keep going. So, but it is what it is. But right now, man, hey, we out of this thing, man. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the video. Share this video with a friend. Share this with somebody you know. You know, somebody potentially saying, "Hey, man, I want to drive trucks." You know what I'm saying? Hey, it ain't just me. It's a whole bunch of people out here you can get them to follow. You don't have to just share my page. You got to share my page if you want to. I don't trip by dick. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you got so many people out here that's, that's doing this thing and trucking, man, you know. And I can't even start the name all of them. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is, and I ain't showing favoritism, so I'm not going to show no name. But we know who all the people are on, on YouTube that drive trucks. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Beside my... Side the guy I'm watching right now that I'm considering a mentor because, you know, he really don't understand I'm watching him for a reason and I'm learning some things from him. But uh, he's not a YouTube trucker. He's a motherfucking trucker on YouTube. So you already know who that is. That's Guilty718. Shout out to that man, man. You keep doing what you're doing, dog. You know what I'm saying? You keep on rocking the way you rocking, boy. You motivate me. You give me where I need to be in. And I appreciate that even though you don't even know it shit. You know what I'm saying? So, hey. It is what it is, but we out this thing, man. Peace. Y'all have fun. Y'all be easy. Watch yourself on that road. Watch what you got going on, man. Stab them phones. It's distracting. You don't need it.